Welcome to PTE practice. From the test memory. It's difficult to work on the human brain for several reasons. First of all, it develops in the uterus when the embryo is developing. And as a consequence, it's not very easily accessible at the early stages of development. And then on top of all that, it develops rather slowly over a period of months. So we've chosen to work on a, what's called popularly in science a model system, the uh, frog nervous system. And this is quite attractive because the fertilization of the eggs occurs externally, uh, it, typically in pond water. Here, of course, we do it artificially in the lab. And then the embryos are accessible throughout the entire period of development as a consequence. In addition, the maturation of the embryos is, is quite rapid. And uh, the nervous system effectively is fully blown, fully developed within 24 hours after fertilization of the egg. So it's quite a, uh, a rapid process. In biology generally, and neuroscience uh, specifically, uh, different model systems are best suit suited for a the solution of particular problems. And so uh, a whole variety of different species are in active use today. Uh, from fruit flies to nematode worms, zebrafish, frogs, which are our model, uh, mice, rats, and so on. Uh, all of these have proven useful in uh, different ways. There are different advantages and also disadvantages to each of these uh, different uh, model systems. Because biological systems are uh, related to one another, the expectation is, and indeed the proof has been, that discoveries made in a model system are often generally applicable to the human uh, condition.